Siobhan, the old frag lady. And I'm so glad you came back. You joined me again. Um, I'm down to my last three fragrances. Um, and right now I'm getting ready to do Ragba. I had to uh, take a little time off as far as doing this because I was trying to do them all in one day. Okay. But when you go to the uh, to the perfume counter and you start sniffing this one and this one and this one, pretty soon you can't, everything smell either the same or you can't smell any difference in anything. And I was getting that way. So I stopped and I had dinner, get some fumes in my nose that had nothing to do with perfume. So I, I had dinner, went outside, wind's blowing, so I can get rid of some of that too. And, uh, and so I'm back. And so I'm going to go ahead and try to do the last uh, three of the frags that I have here to um, see which ones of the clones slash dupes clash, uh, slash mm, clones slash dupes slash inspired by fragrances will pair very well with soft and choco musk and um, French coffee. Okay, so um, I've already done four of them. I'm going to, this is my fifth one. And I kind of put this one in here. I don't think it really belongs in here. Uh, this is Ragba. I don't know if you can see this or not. This is Ragba. And Ragba is uh, by, um, what was this by? Oh, what's my Latafa? Oh, okay, it's my Latafa. And when I smell Ragba, it makes me think of camera. Even though this is not one of the dupes of Angel Share by a long shot, this is not a dupe of, um, I don't know what is a dupe of really. I, it probably does have something that's supposed to be a clone of, as most Middle Eastern fragrances are. But um, Ragba makes me, gives me the same vibe that Kamra does. As it has some and this is my chart that I was hoping you all would um, download. And it's the chart that I'm looking at. And I'm actually going to make a little space down there or somewhere around there so you can see what I'm looking at. And uh, with the notes from all the fragrances here and then across here are how many they have in common. So for Ragba, it has four notes in common with Kamra. Four. And that could be why it reminds me of it. The notes that it has in common, uh, common with Kamra are vanilla, um, vanilla, amber woody, sweet, spicy. And mm -hmm. those are four for, for Ragba. So, um, if, when I first got this, I didn't like it. But as you can see, the juice is pretty much at least half gone. And I only reason I like this so much is because I it pairs very well with um soft. And I wear this with soft. And I really like it like that. Also, I, I use this a lot on my husband as well. He doesn't really have a choice in what he's gonna wear. If I like it, I spray it on him. He wears it and stressed very proudly, so he's fine with that. Okay, the three that I'm going to try to pair this with are soft. Choco musk and French coffee. I'm gonna do choco mu uh, do um, soft first. Soft is pretty much uh, a universal layering thing. I don't care if you exp your your, your um, perfume is expensive or inexpensive, whether it's Middle Middle Eastern, Paris, or whatever. Soft, I think. Now I, I I'm I'm really only speaking about Middle Eastern because I don't do anything with the with the niche or the designer fragrances. So I'm just it, I'm just saying that. Okay. Okay. Let's try to do four. Okay. So I have that one, and then I have Ragba. I'm gonna do four spritzes with this. Not a very um powerful sprayer. If you're using a uh, soft. What you need to do is make sure that um, you are uh, spraying it on yourself, that you don't really spray a lot because this that sprayer on Ragba just dispenses, I mean, sorry, soft, really dispenses a lot. Okay, here we go. Mmm, that smells so good. Oh, yeah. 
It smells really, really good. I like this. The Soft and the Rogba do have notes in common. They both have vanilla. Um, they have uh, musk, amber woody, sweet, balsamic, and powdery, all in common. So, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Rogba has one, two, three, four, five, six notes in common with um, soft. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Mm. I really like this. Oh, that's oh, heavenly. So, if you have a chance to get some Rogba um, and pair it with Al Rehab Soft, go for it. That's really, really, really nice. I like that. Okay. For me and, and for my husband. Anytime we want to go out and, and be twins, we can wear that together. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is Choco Musk. Choco Musk by, um, this is also by Al Rehab. Choco Musk. And Choco Musk um, comes in, I, I think it only comes in 50 milliliter bottles. The, the soft is only in 35 milliliter bottles. And this goes really quickly. It really does. Okay. I've never worn Choco Musk with anything. But um, so far, spraying it um, and pairing it with other things, it seems to uh, pair really well. Okay, here we go. Rogba and Choco Musk. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I don't smell chocolate, and I don't smell Rogba. I smell something else. This is nice. It's not, uh, you know, that alcohol. I mean, it's there, but not like some perfumes I've had all you, you just, like it's blowing up your nose with alcohol. This is really nice. I like these two. Choco Musk and Rogba. La Tafa Rogba. Really, really nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's a winner. All right, the next one is French Coffee. Mm -hmm. French Coffee. And if you've been following along in the other videos, you realize this is not one of my favorites. But I'm taking it for the team just to see how it pairs with some of these old ones. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. Okay. Taking into account that I really don't like coffee fragrance because I don't like coffee, this is not that bad, but it's very, very not feminine. Unless... You really don't like floral and you don't like the um the lady parts of fragrances, whatever those are. This is not bad. It really isn't. Mm-mm. Rogba and, and French coffee. And Rogba and French coffee share um one, two, three, four. Share four notes. And the notes they share are vanilla, um, sweet, spicy, and powdery. This is not bad at all. It really isn't. You know, putting aside that I don't like coffee fragrance for myself, um, if I did, this would be a great layer. Mm hmm This is nice. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. So, for Rogba. Rogba and Soft are... You can't miss with these two. Really, you cannot miss. Get yourself some Soft. Just keep it in your, in your car or wherever and refresh with the Soft. It's cheap. Uh, don't pay more than $8 for this. 
You can get two of them for $15 and change on Amazon. And some other sites have it even cheap, like tripletrader.com. But you got to, uh, Triple Trader has a bigger minimum for free shipping. So, yeah, soft. And then the Rogba. Great pairing. Next pairing, Choco Musk and Rogba. Very nice. Very, really nice. I would wear these two together. I would. These are nice. Choco Musk and Rogba. And then finally, French Coffee and Rogba. Surprisingly, nice. It, it is. It's nice. It really, even though I don't care for coffee, these two together have a nice fragrance. They really do. And if you're a coffee lover and you like wearing gourmand uh, fragrances, these two, they really go well together. Uh, would I wear them? Nope. Still not going to wear it. You know, I mean, if this is the only last two fragrances in the world, I had to wear fragrances. Oh, yeah, I'd wear them. But other than that, no, not really. Would I wear it, put them on my husband? Um, I'd ask him first. I'd give him something to smell first and then ask him. I wouldn't just surprise him. A lot of stuff, I just spray it on him because I like it. But this one right here, especially since he said he, he wouldn't wear it, I wouldn't put it on him just, you know, like that because he might not be happy with that. Yeah. But anyway, this is another reason why you need to get yourself something to layer your, your fragrances with. It doesn't have to layer with these three. There are many fragrances you can layer with musks and ouds and um, citruses and and uh, tropicals and things like that. So look at your notes on your um, fragrances and you can set them up on a chart similar to what I have here. If you'd like to see what my chart looks like, please go to the link in the description. It's the, I made it so it's the first link in the description. So you'll be able to click on it and see what the chart looks like. And you can just um, make one yourself. I just, it was just in Google Docs. It's nothing hard because I don't know how to do hard. Um, it would be better if it were in Excel, but I don't feel like exerting my, that half of my brain for that. I did that for a while before I retired. I don't want to do that no more. I'm done with that. But I may get, get my, I may, you know what, I could do that. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this to one of my grandkids. They always doing that stuff in school. I can send it to my grandson or my granddaughter. They're not doing nothing. And I get them to set this up for me um, on Excel. I can sure do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because once it's set up, I can I can add stuff to it and keep it maintained. But I just don't want to be bothered setting it up. So anyway, that's it. And this is these reasons and those reasons and these reasons are why this old lady smells so good all the time. And you all behave yourselves because I don't have to. Bye-bye.